Hello beautiful souls, it's Mary from Psychic Soulmate. This video, the three card tarot reading for our week ahead, and I'm not gonna say the date because it doesn't matter because you can be watching this anytime, even after I've uploaded, the date that I've uploaded. The reading and the message is still intended for you. That is the way spirit guides work. And um, if you something doesn't quite, quite doesn't resonate, just visit back because some things have to unfold in your life for the reading and the message to actually take effect. That's the way it works. And you take what you need and you leave what you don't. Okay. So uh, lately, I have been not very active on social media. I apologize. I have been just doing so much. There's so much stuff going on, you know. And plus, it's August, and it's like the last uh, last month of. Or we, well, I'm trying to get the best of summer, right? <laughs> and I just adopted two beautiful kittens, and um, they take up a lot of time. You're like little toddlers, right? And and I'm still grieving the loss of our beloved um, Garcia. Okay, it's it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't take away the pain. It's still there. Whoops, got a text. It doesn't take away the pain, but it's still you know what? It's kind of like um, it's just a joy. It's a tremendous amount of joy of um bonding with these new beautiful kittens and two of them and they're so cute i will go grab them after i just fed them i fed them just now and um i'll go grab them and show you them so i'm gonna get right on with the reading right away um i hear their bells so they're playing right outside so if you hear bells i put bells around their neck because they're like this small <laughs> i'll show you after okay so the uh, first card that came up oh i'm working with the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot. I did an unboxing um, on my IGTV channel and you can check that out. I love these cards. The artwork is so amazing and so beautiful. The first card that we got was the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is um, a feeling of loss and ruin and things that have happened and then just everything kind of like exploded. Everything kind of like just came into your life and just came in with a bang, you know? And I have to say, it makes a lot of sense for what I've been going through. Um, and it's just it's just what the card says, but not don't take it literally because it looks really gruesome. But we are going through some trying times. And I know it sounds like that every time I pull the first card, it's always like so, so much negativity because it's everybody's feeling this. And this is a ch time of change. Like we're going through a transition and I promise it's gonna get better. But the transition is not very easy. So whatever you're feeling, you're feeling brokenhearted, you're feeling um, a sense of loss in your sense, feeling a sense of insecurity, like there's so much, you're feeling separated from what you really want and feeling that tremendous amount of um, um, sorrow. I don't know where, where it's coming from, but it's just a feeling of, it's even that anxiety energy is what I'm picking up because I'm feeling like an anxiety. It's almost like I have to be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry, you gotta relax. It's like you're being in a hurry to get to where. You know what happens when you're in a hurry? You're only in a hurry to get to the end of something. It's all about the journey. We got the, the beginning and we got the end. So what you need to do is be, be you're in the middle of it. So you need to, we, we came into 2020 with a lot of, well, with a bang and uh, with a, it's a, it, it was just, yeah. You, if you're watching this during the pandemic, that's when I filmed this, okay, 2020. Um, but it's just everything, whatever, even if you're watching this after, like years later, because it, it is going to, I'm talking to the people from the future because you know what? This is all going to pass. This will pass. I promise you. So in between this time, what you're experiencing, it's important that you stay calm and you um, absorb every moment because everything that's happening is for your highest good. And I know some things are very painful. I know some things are so painful and so just like confusing and hard to let go and surrendering. That's the word that's the hardest for everybody. When I say surrender, they're like, everybody gets offended when I say, or not offended, but defensive about surrendering because surrendering doesn't mean that you have to um, forget about that. And it's, it's like, it, it just actually puts you, you almost feel like you're, like you need to you need to be holding on and you need to have that stress and that pain in order to keep something but you don't you have to let go you have to surrender sorry my watch keeps buzzing i don't know why it's just telling me i've done 250 steps i don't know anyway sorry distractions <laughs> squirrel energy okay so back to what i was talking about it's about you just like surrendering and letting go and being in the moment exactly you know playing you need to be playful more playful the second card was justice and justice is taking a stand for yourself and seeing what is right, what is fair, doing justice for yourself. 
you need to get yourself together and you need to really move forward into this area because you are feeling like you shouldn't be doing this or you're not receiving it. There's something justice is here and justice is telling you there's some things that have to be done and regardless of whatever you say or do, you are going to be pulled to justice and fairness of what is the for your highest good. Sometimes we want something and it's not for our highest good. You know, I get a lot of res a lot of people uh, emailing me, messaging me, DM me about spells, love spells, and you can't manipulate anybody's love. I'm sorry, you can attract love towards you by raising your vibration, but you cannot make someone love you. And if you do, it's actually you're just you can buy their love. Basically, do you want to buy someone's love? Basically, that's what a love spell is, and also to bring somebody back and reuniting. Those things don't work. All those things do is actually clog. Your your mind with more clutter and they backfire and you know what you're left with a lot of pain inside you know and depression comes up and this is where all the anxiety comes up because a lot of times we want that person to love us but that's not for our highest good we love that person and love that person from a distance because what who was true and who was meant to be will always come back to you so this is telling you right now whatever you're doing maybe is not for your highest good you need to look and you need to reevaluate everything the third card is the fool fool is be playful you know what let it go just let it go and just be playful just like the fool um, be carefree but not careless see how he's about to, he's got his little dog there and he's playing he's about to just be free and let go so this is what you need to do you need to be free let go and just like let things be like instead of trying to make something be a way it is just let go right and that's the important thing and if you do that you're going to receive everything for your highest good now I hear my kitties over there I don't know what they're getting into Dave's doing the lesson so um, I am just going to check up on them I'll be right back okay <laughs> I am back with my two kittens. This is meet Phoebe and meet Jasper. <laughs> and he's, his nails are so sharp. Look how cute they are, but they don't want to be held right now. They want to play. Uh, they were on something high up. I'm just going to put them down on the floor. Give me one second. There you guys go. Have fun. And I'm just going to open my door so they can... Um, oh, they're just, ups, ups, they're just looking around. I wanted to show you... How cute they are oh <laughs> and they're going into my closet okay so back to what i was saying um it's very important oh you can take them if you or you can leave the door open <laughs> that's dave i was just showing them showing the kittens to uh to the public <laughs> to the world Okay, so um, interesting things are happening. Okay, back to the reading. Sorry, everything happens during, whatever happens, I always say this, whatever happens during the reading is a message for you. And you know I always like to keep things real and I'm natural and just being myself. Okay, so that is that is my world right now, is my kitties. But I'm going on to the reading because I love reading you guys and I love, I love doing weekly reading videos all the time. So this is my heart to your heart and just sending love to you guys and thanking you guys for always watching. So I'm going to get back to what I was talking about. Um, this, uh, the world, sorry, I'll start again. The fool is actually telling us that we need to just be carefree and being in the moment. And when you are, you're going to experience some phenomenal things that are happening like you're going to experience a lot of stuff like all right I'll give you an example Dave and I um, this was a few days ago um, we just said let's go let's go pick up a pizza and we don't eat pizza you know we don't eat pizza um, well if you know us I'm a health I'm a health nut but I, I love I love good food but only on a special occasion like when I say good food I mean like you know something that's not that healthy so we said let's go get a pick up a pizza okay and so I said why don't we take the kitties and I wanted to go pick up a book because I had it at curbside um, from one of the bookstores here for, about cats raising cats so I said okay let's take the kitties with us because it's just around the corner and I want to get them used to um, getting in the car and going with us like if they're with us they will um, you know they will get used to not being so stressed out because of our beloved Garcia uh, he didn't like take car rides very well so I wanted them to get used to I want to give them a, a good start you know <laughs> and Dave's playing with them over there it's so cute um, so anyways um, so we put them in the car they were they were great they were angels they just sat and just played with each other and he just you know anyways 
<laughs> it was just beautiful. They were just, I just loved watching it. And if you were on social media and saw my stories, you saw us doing that. Okay. And then um, while we were picking up the pizza, <clears throat> which was where we used to live, if you can remember my old place, and uh, we were picking up the pizza and we got a, we got a, a text message from the mobile vet that uh, where we had um, come in to put our beloved Garcia down in our arms because we wanted to not just give him at the door to a vet and and just say okay just say our goodbyes at the door we wanted to hold him in our arms and you know give him a good send off you know with our hearts and with our love because it helps it's a sacred thing for us and so he texted us and telling us that he got the this was two weeks ago we did this so he got the ashes and he can deliver them later or we he's he lives um, just right around the corner. We can want to pick them up right around the corner from um, where we for the where we were picking up the pizza. And I was like, tell him we'll be there in about five minutes because I that's a beautiful experience. And uh, with the kitties, we're <laughs> our little first excursion with the kitties, and you know we're all together. And so it was just such a beautiful reunion. I have to say, if I didn't have them with me, they were they're with me for a reason because. I would have just lost it crying and uh, I mean I know that's a natural thing and I know tears are natural and and everything but it, it really is just you know it was just a very beautiful experience because they got to we all got to being there was like you know I don't know I can't explain it but it actually helped so my point is is just going with the flow going with the moment and just looking at everything that's around you rather than um, trying to make something happen a certain way like try not to try not to control something so much to because the more you try to control it the more you're going to push away the experience and you know i like to live like i always encourage you guys to live every moment like it's the last moment that you know that it can be like if you were told that you only have one day to be on this planet what would you do you try to do everything that you can that you love to do now i know that's kind of impossible because we have we have obligations and everything yeah saying that too but you don't have to be um you know just resistance with it you can just let go and move forward and just be in the moment and absorb every moment that's happening whatever's happening you know don't try to resist it you know that's that's the point that's my point here and that's what the message is is to be carefree but don't be careless be a child you know listen to your inner child just be free be happy be you know entertain <laughs> when I say entertain I mean like don't be afraid to be yourself like I always say this to you guys let your free flag fly okay so that's the message there and I'm just uh, right now I have been really busy I'm working on the tarot um, tarot at the round table you guys know the tarot course tarot energies and tarot around the ta around the tarot at the round table is going to be an interactive fun way of as, a, as an extension and I'm looking so forward to it so I've been really busy with preparing a lot of the the work for that and um, yeah so if you're interested in that you know shoot me a DM please and um, or go to my go to my website psychic soulmate reading.com you can book a reading and you can also um, look at the um, you can actually like just email me okay so anyways I don't know if I made any sense there okay first of all if you want to, if you want to know more information about the tarot energies course please message me okay and you can also if you want to get a longer reading with me personalized reading like this you can go to my website okay sorry I just wanted to clarify that and uh, I'm just in a hurry because I hear the kitties on the other side and I I have dinner um, I have Chipotle coming so I'm just gonna go right now and get something to eat and um, yeah I for now I hope that this reading was helpful for you and I wish you guys all the best and I will be doing some lives soon and more information about tarot at the round table okay so you take care peace and blessings to you <laughs>